that's still not where I want it to be, but every day I'm just trying to do more and more treatment and rehab to get back to 100%. And I think I've played well. I think I still got a lot of improvement to make. And each week, I'm just trying to get better and better to you know, help this defense and help us be successful. When you look at the tape against Kentucky, what stands out to you guys? Uh, I would say the running back and offensive line. I think they're playing really good ball right now. Um, before the Georgia game, they only gave up one sack. And after, they gave up four. But that shows they're really protecting the quarterback. So, you know, we're going to have a huge challenge this week. And we just have to go to practice. and get ready uh, to you know play our best ball on Saturday. Darius, big picture, does the defense, do you guys feel like you've played up to the standard you expect this no, season? Not at all. Because um, we knew we were last year, but you know, last year, last year, and this year, is this year with new opportunity, but we still got a lot of, a long way to go, six more weeks, so all we can do is focus on today and get better, but I don't think we're at where we thought we'd be, but we still got a lot of time to grow, and we just gotta go get back to work. You mentioned attention to detail. What was one thing you think was maybe holding back? How close do you guys, think you guys are to maybe turning that corner with that? Uh, very close. It's just going to come down to practice today. Um, during, when we get to middle practice, when everybody's feeling a little up and down, how attentive are we then? Because, you know, everything starts well, but it's how you finish. So um, this is going to start today, and it's going to help us win more games in the future. Darius, Coach Drink, let's talk about the importance of you guys on the D-line staying in gaps as you're rushing. Uh, yeah. What's the kind of value of that and, uh, and, and you know, where do you think you guys can maybe improve on that? Oh, yeah, it's very important. You got to have uh, good rush lanes. Like you see in the LSU game, our rush lanes were a little bit inconsistent, and that's why the quarterback was able to get out of the pocket. But that's something we can improve on in practice this week going forward so we don't have that problem. But, you know, rush lanes consistency is very important to stopping quarterbacks and just allowing everybody on the defense to play freely. How much of Saturday after watching the film do you guys look at and say that was us and how much do you say they have maybe the best quarterback you're going to play this year? Uh, I would probably say about 60% was us and then 40 was just he's a great player. But a lot of stuff is like self-inflicted things that's on us that we can get better. And like I said, we just have to go to practice and get better. And then also, like I said, Jay Daniels, he's a really good player and probably one of the best quarterbacks in the SEC. So, you know, it is what it is, but we're going to move forward and just keep getting better each day. You've played a few of these games against Kentucky now. Is this, you know, one of these games that kind of brings a little bit of something extra for you guys? Uh, a little bit. I think this game is exciting because every time this game happens, it's always like something crazy happens, like either our way or their way. And, um, I'm just excited because I know Kentucky uh, on the road is, is live. They have a really nice environment. You know, we're excited for this challenge and opportunity. Hey, Rob. It's been a couple of days now. What have you learned about disconcerting penalties and how you guys can not <laughs> do them? Uh, I, unfortunately, I didn't do my research. I probably, <laughs> I probably should have, but uh, no, nah, I didn't get a chance to look into it. Um, no, nah, I haven't looked into it much. That is, what do you remember from that 2021 game? I remember it's one of the first games back after COVID and saying mm -hmm. just what do you recall from that? 2021. Was that at Kentucky? Kentucky yeah. 2021. Oh, we lost that game, right? Yeah, I remember that game. Uh, that was Will Levis. I think that's when he was the quarterback. Now, this is a real live environment. I'm telling you, Kentucky is really live. And, uh, but, you know, we just didn't do the things that we needed to do to win that game. And then, uh, like I said, Kentucky, I think we're very similar teams in a way because we're both, like, really, like, blue-collar, like, gritty. And I think the team that's winning is going to be, like, the most physical the most, get the most takeaways, stuff like that. But no, I'm just really excited for this opportunity. Coaches talk so much about forcing more turnovers. I mean, <laughs> how much of that is, is within your guys' control and how much is a bounce going the right way? Uh, it's a, like you said, it's a lot. Um, I think for me up front on the D-line, I can think when I'm getting in on tackles, going for the ball, having that on my mind a lot. And then as far as pass rush, you know, trying to get the ball out on sacks or just hitting the quarterback. And then, like you said, also it takes the quarterback to see something and the ball tips as we get on it. But, yeah, it's going to start in practice, though, you know, emphasizing more. Got to get the ball out, got to get the ball out. Because I think that's the main difference. We only have four takeaways this um, far this season, which just isn't good enough. So we just have to find ways to get the ball out and give it back to our offense. You were pretty close to a pretty big one there on LSU's last drive. I mean, no, what was your thoughts look, watching that play on Phil? hurts because he didn't get it back. I mean, I got it out, but didn't get it back and didn't give my chance to team to win. 
And um, all I can do is just get better. And um, this week in practice, when I work on knocking the ball, I'll go find it and get <laughs> on it, you know, to help our team win. But, you know, we're going to move forward and find a way to get more takeaways this season. d obviously playing through an injury is not an easy thing to do, yet Coach today told us that he thought you had one of your best games uh, from your position. How do you continue to play well from an injury standpoint? What are you doing in PT and whatnot? Um, honestly, first my faith. Honestly, I just pray a lot, meditate. But um, from PT, I would say um, just doing a lot of calf work, like just a lot of flexion in my calf, ankle, um, a lot of contrast, hot, cold, stem, just trying to get strengthen my calf back up to where it needs to be so I can push off how I want to push off and be able to do that the whole game. Like I feel like the Memphis game, if you watch, like I was pushing, but then it just started slowing down and then I just couldn't push off of it anymore. So yeah, each day I'm just trying to live in the training room and just make sure I'm healthy enough to be able to go to practice and then be able to get my best performance on Saturdays.